Bonjour, I hope you are well. We are going to see in this video how to use the expression used to in uh, French with uh, your French tutor online, myself, Pascal. So welcome, so used to, but also to be used to and to get used to. So first, the expression used to in French, when it is related to a past event, we use le temps imparfait, the imperfect tense. It is one option to translate and used to in the past. An example, I never used to like French when I was young, so with l'imparfait we say je n'aimais pas le français quand j'étais jeune. So why here do we use the imparfait? You remember that the imparfait is related to a duration in the past and here it's a question of duration when I was young, so you need the imparfait je n'aimais pas le français quand j'étais jeune. Okay? It's one way to translate used to and we saw that in the lesson about the imparfait and le passé composé. Let's see now the present tense how to translate to be used to. One way is with the verb avoir in French. So in English we've got to be but in French it is to have and the expression is avoir l'habitude de with the uh, preposition de. So don't forget that. So let's see some example. Is not used to this computer. So in French, il n'a pas l'habitude de cet ordinateur. Il n'a pas l'habitude de cet ordinateur. OK? Let's see now how to translate to be used to, this time with the expression avoir l'habitude que. Que, in French, is followed with the subjunctive mood. So, if you want to translate I'm used to him criticizes me, in French, you will say j'ai l'habitude qu'il me critique. I am used that he criticizes me. J'ai l'habitude qu'il me critique. And here, critique is the subjunctive mood. Well, you remember that for the verb uh, which infinitive ends in er, there is no difference between the present uh, tense of the indicative mood and the subjunctive mood. But it's good to know here that it is the subjunctive mood. Another example, they were used to being given water. So, ils avaient, or elles avaient, l'habitude qu'on leur donne de l'eau. Again, done, here, is the subjunctive mood. Let's see a fourth way to translate to be used to, but this time we've got also an expression with the verb to be in French, and the expression is être habitué à. And because of the, um, the verb to be, and here we have an adjective, habitué, there is an agreement. So if uh, a girl uh, is speaking, you need an additional e at the end of habitué. But remember too that here now the preposition is a, a, and all these forms like o, uh, aller, etc., etc. He is not used to this computer, so it's good to use actually the same examples as before to see that we can translate and this time using this expression, être habitué à. Il n'est pas habitué à cet ordinateur. So you remember, il n'a pas l'habitude de cet ordinateur, and now, il n'est pas habitué à cet ordinateur. Both expressions are really common with the verb to be or with the verb to have. My grandmother is used to children. My grandmother is used to children. Ma grand-mère est habituée, with an additional e, aux enfants. You can also use in this case avec les enfants. Ma grand-mère est habituée aux enfants. Au, so, it is the preposition a, but the plural form. How to translate to get used to now? We've got two verbs for that, and these two verbs are very, very common, so it's good to know both of them. The first is s'habituer à and the second is se faire à. So as you can see, these two verbs are reflexive with the s apostrophe or is se reflexive. So if you want to translate now, I get used to it. I get used to it. In French, you can say je m'y habitue, je m'y fais. So what is this uh, letter Y here? It's a pronoun to replace it because you remember that the expression is with preposition a. And when we got this preposition, you need to replace the noun by a pronoun, the pronoun e or y in French. Okay? Je m'y habitue, je m'y fais. So, for example, uh, about your new job, you can say, Hey, uh, 
So what about your new job? He say, is that okay? And you can say, okay, I get used to it. Oui, oui, je m'y fais, je m'y fais. Okay? She can't get used to the climate. So, elle ne s'habitue pas au climat. Or, elle ne peut pas se faire au climat. She is in Africa, elle est en Afrique, and it is very, very hot. C'est vraiment, vraiment très chaud. Elle ne peut pas se faire au climat. Elle ne s'habitue pas au climat. OK? We get used to drinking just water. Nous nous sommes habitués à boire juste de l'eau. Nous nous sommes habitués à boire juste de l'eau. And here we've got twice the pronoun new, because you remember, it is a reflexive verb. OK? Nous nous sommes habitués à boire juste de l'eau. So, in this lesson, we saw five forms how to translate used to and old expressions. So, we can see uh, them again. This uh, uh, thing is a picture, an image. You can download on my website if you want to go to FrenchSpanishOnline.com. Uh, this is a summarize of what we've just seen and you can share it if you want. So, uh, to summarize the lesson, the, in the past tense we are going to use the imparfait in, in French for a duration. You remember that. The second uh, way, present tense now, if you want to translate uh, here, um, to be used to, it is avoir l'habitude de with the preposition de. We also have the expression avoir l'habitude que followed with the subjunctive. Uh, with the verb to be, the expression is être habitué à, and this time the uh, preposition is à. And finally, to translate uh, to get used to, we use two verbs, s'habituer à and se faire à. Ok? Vous êtes habitué au français maintenant? Allez, c'est fini. Alors, au revoir, bon français, and please don't forget to subscribe and to share this uh, video where you want. À bientôt, au revoir.